welcome back to the IBSP. Here's your host, Foxy New. The Arroyo sends Chris Colbert straight to hell. And look, let's break it down honestly and objectively as possible. In the first fight between El Rayo and Chris Colbert, this man was robbed. He was screwed over. And, you know, that was one of the worst robberies I've seen. In this rematch, this man came out, dropped Chris Colbert in the first round, attacking him nonstop. After that, he just relentlessly whooped this man's ass eventually stopping him and he didn't just stop him he knocked this man out he put this man to sleep with a one punch knockout and it only took him six rounds he didn't want to leave this fight into the hand of the judges he didn't want to get robbed or screwed again he decided to end all of this in this fight early i got to give a lot of credit to Jose Valenzuela, he came in with a game plan, he came in focused, and he didn't play with his food. He came in and took this guy apart joint by joint by joint. He switched his primary trainer from Jose Benavidez Sr. back to his old trainer. Jose Benavidez is still in his corner as an assistant, but at the end of the day, I got to give Jose a lot of credit. You know, El Rayo showed up, he has a lot of talent. And, and if he keeps developing, he keeps getting better. If he keeps improving and he works on his defense, if he keeps developing himself, he can be a special fighter one day in the sport of boxing. He has a lot of holes, a lot of issues. But this was a great performance, and it showed you that he should have won the first fight. He was screwed, he was robbed, and he avenged that robbery loss. Because men lie, women lie, but the facts don't lie.